want to talk about, while it's, while it's not so much a myth, it is a misunderstood rule. And that's got riders catching their knot holes. And over here, well, I thought I'd beat camera time on Shorty, but he, he's already here, man. We got Luke Snyder here. And Shorty, I was, I was telling everybody that I want to talk a little bit on the misconception and the rule of catching knots and, and why the riders do it and what the judges are looking for. And we seen some of that last night. Yeah, we did. We saw a handful of guys catching their knots last night. Now, they didn't get disqualified for it. The reason being, the judges have to be sure. They have to clearly see that the rider leaves the chute, the first jump out with their spur in the knot. If they catch it during the ride, that does not matter because they have no control. But if they leave with it, it's a DQ. The judges saw it last night, as did we. Be sure to yourself that they're going to have their eye out for it tonight. Well, we got Luke Snyder here helping us out tonight. And Luke's not a guy that's ever been known for catching his knots, but he's going to help us out with this tonight. And we can see here on this side, Luke's got his bull rope set. You set your rope for this. You can see this is what we call his knot right here. And you can see Luke's spur right there. It's in perfect shape to catch it. Now, if we'll go over on Shorty's side, we're on the loop side. And, and the exact same thing. That's where the rope pulls through to pull tight on the bull. You can see his loop. Luke's got a perfect shot to get it. Now, Luke, being a guy that did catch his knots. He didn't really know how to set his rope. Me and Shorty showed him how to do this tonight. Luke, don't be getting any ideas, buddy. 